On the pier, Sam tells Mac that he scared the hell out of her by dragging her off as he did. Mac wants to know why she was following Cody. Sam wasn't. She was following Selena. She asks if Cody is in trouble. Mac believes he is, and he might not be able to get him out of it. Mac asks what Sam's interest in Selena is. She worried Selena has roped Cody into something illegal. Mac knows all about Selena's poker games. Mac admits they've been surveilling the Savoy and Selena for months. Sam wonders why they haven't made their move and realize he doesn't want Cody caught in the trap. Mac admits he wants to do right by Dominique's son, but at the same time, they need much more on Selena than illegal gambling to take her down. Neither Mac nor Sam believes Cody stole the bracelet, and Sam admits she believes Selena helped get the charges dropped. Mac asks why Selena would help Cody. Sam thinks the less said, the better, and it might be too late for them to save Cody from himself. At Kelly's, Alexis tells Sonny the details aren't hers to tell him, but their daughter is about to do something she's not prepared for. Sonny realizes Alexis wants him to be the bad guy, which she nods yes to. She knows Christina will listen to him. Sonny wants to know what trouble Christina is headed for. Alexis has said all she can. Now he must get Christina to open up. She assures him that Christina is in no danger. Nina calls Sonny to give him an update on Curtis. He asks if she's headed home, but she says not yet. Maxie called her with a vague voicemail that something happened with Sasha. Alexis decides to head to the hospital, where Christina likely is, and adds a nudge, nudge to her statement. Sonny says he was going to stop by anyway. He gets a text and has something to take care of first. At the hospital, TJ tells Portia, Trina, and the others that Curtis made it through the surgery. Dr. Bernstorff explains while they removed the bullet, it left significant damage yet to be ascertained. Portia asks if Curtis is awake, but he's not. The family decides to go down to the waiting room in the ICU, where he's been taken. Christina approaches TJ and Molly and tells them how relieved she is about Curtis. TJ lashes out that Curtis is still in danger and he could have died. He walks away and Molly tells Christina, not now. Molly finds TJ and knows how scared he must have been observing in the oar. TJ now understands why doctors can't operate on their loved ones and seeing his uncle so helpless was horrible. Later, Christina finds Molly alone and asks her sister if TJ is okay as he seemed off. Molly yells at her, not everything is about you. Christina doesn't know what has Molly so upset with her. Molly says she knows she offered to give TJ the baby she couldn't. She heard her at the Savoy. Molly says once again Christina is making everything about her, even her pregnancy. Christina insists she wasn't thinking about herself. She was thinking about her little sister. Christina points out she was willing to give up a year of her life for Molly, and somehow, she's the selfish one. Molly says they need to focus on Curtis now. Christina won't drop it, and TJ finds them arguing and asks them to keep it down. Alexis arrives as Christina blurts out she is clearly not good enough to be their surrogate and storms off. Trina, Marshall, Portia, and Stella go to the ICU and look in on Curtis through his room's window. Trina asks if Curtis could still die. Portia says his condition is still unknown, but Marshall and Stella say they'll get through this together as a family. The doctor exits and allows one of them to go in. Portia tells Trina to go first. Trina goes in, panics at the sight of Curtis so still and hooked up to so many machines, and runs out. Trina tells her mom she just got scared and that her mom should go in. Marshall says they'll take care of Trina. Portia goes in to see Curtis, takes his hand, and tells him how much his family loves and needs him. Portia hates not being able to do anything for him, and she hates that she stayed away from him after learning about the kiss. She cries she doesn't want her harsh words to be the last thing he hears her say. She begs him to open his eyes. In the waiting room, Trina is ashamed she ran out of the room like a scared little girl. Stella says that is because that's what she was in the moment. Later, Trina goes to the restroom to splash water on her face. Stella wants to find out what's going on with her as Trina's been gone a while. But when she stands up, 
she becomes dizzy. Marshall asks if it's her heart, and maybe they should get her checked out. Stella shushes him when Tran returns from the restroom. Tran is worried that Curtis still isn't awake and that he could be paralyzed. Sasha and Gladys return home, and Sasha can't believe she made such a mistake. Gladys tells her that everything worked out, and she looks tired and should take her meds. 